Alright, hey, it's Mega here, and it's another Sauron video. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm getting ready to put my Supermoto wheels back on, so, and I'm planning to do a track day this weekend, so I want to have better brakes, okay? So, honestly, for the Light B, I don't really need better brakes for it because I have regen, you know? I hardly use the brakes on it, especially right when I'm just running on the street. But, on the track, I can't rely on the regen, okay? So, um, the, re the regen, it helps you slow down and it puts ba power back in the battery, but it also overheats your bike, okay? It overheats the, the battery and the controller, okay? So, um, you'll notice you'll, pr you'll probably, your regen will be cut in half after about like nine minutes of riding, okay? That's what I found out. After about nine minutes on the track, poof, your regen is almost gone, okay? It's half of what it was. It's not as strong as before. So, and if you can't break, if you can't brake harder, then you can't get back on the throttle faster, okay? So you got to have good brakes on the racetrack, okay? And that's really one of the only times I, I think you would need the better brakes on the Soran is when you're riding it on the racetrack. Okay, so to do that, I bought this, okay? So it's, I bought this a while ago. I did shoot a video on it when I first got it. This is the actual video about it, okay? This is the Soran Luna floating brake rotor, okay? As you can see. It's from Luna Cycle. It has their name on it. Okay, it's cut and do it. Um, as of this video, they don't even sell these anymore. So I don't know what happened to them. They sell a different one. Okay, they sell um, they sell one very similar to the the one that's on my wheel already. Okay, um, and if you guys are wondering what that is, that one, the three po um, brake rotor. Okay, I got that puppy for I think less than thirty bucks. So I thought it was a good deal. It definitely, I think it's better than the stock one, and it's a floating rotor. And it looks trick. <laughs> okay, the Luna one, the the the, Luna, the new Luna ones, they're all they're purple and everything. It's like nah, I'm kind of keep my back by bike with the black theme. Okay, so so I would rather keep on that. So the plan is I'm gonna keep that one on there. That one actually works pretty good. Okay, it heats up pretty quick, but it also dissipates heat better. Um, is what I'm gonna say. All right. So I did a video on that one. I'll put a I'll put a link at the end of this video to that. Um, that video if you guys want to check that rotor out, but what this is the rear wheel my plan is to replace the old um, the old rotor on the um, On the light B. Okay, the stock the stock light B rotor for one of the, for the rear one of these Okay, so if you guys don't know the rear rotor on the um, the light B is Specific to this bike. Okay, there's um you can't get this rotor anywhere else. Okay, you, the front one you can use a regular bicycle one, but this one you can okay it uses it uses bigger nuts for one thing okay so that's what the big see see right here in the package there's a set of smaller nuts and there's a set of bigger nuts okay so let's go take a look at this we'll take a look at both of them but I'm only gonna install the rear one okay uh, I may what I may do is I may put it on the front of my dirt wheel is what I might do okay maybe. Like I said, I hardly use the brake. I don't really use the brakes all that much off road. Okay, so here's what you get. You get a pack of bolts. Okay, these are like Torx bolts. They have the funky star head on it. These are the these are a larger set. That's for the rear, I think. And then there's a smaller set for the front. There's six total for so like it's twelve for twelve for all of them. Okay, these are smaller, so I think these are for the front. Okay, and then you've got the rotors themselves. I'd imagine you probably want to uh, the way you want to install it is with the Luna cycle logo facing out out of the wheel so you can read it Pretty nice. I think they're made out of stainless steel, so they're pretty strong They should dissipate a lot of heat and they are a floating rotor design. Okay, so if you guys don't know what that is um, 
this part moves independent of this part. Oh, that's interesting. This there's a little thing here though. So I guess it's it has a little spring to it. Okay, so it kind of moves it back into place. You know what it reminds me of is like a, one of those sheriff badges. <laughs> that's what it, that's what it reminds me of. It's kind of cool. But Hayes Mag is gonna try this out and we'll see how we like it. You know, um, I need better brakes at the track, um, especially when the regen dies. So. Um, hopefully this will help help you know soak up some of that heat okay so uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll when I get that one off we'll go weigh the two and then and then we'll put them side by side I'm not really sure oh, honestly I think this is the front okay because the holes are smaller all right they're pretty trick they both say Luna on it I like it it's got this, it's the Swiss cheese kind of rotor. It's got all the holes in it. And it's got a kind of like a star pattern on it. Pretty nice. And this is Luna on it. It definitely nicely crafted, that's for sure. I like it. I do not, I do not know why they don't sell these anymore else by the guy. Oh, also I bought this for $42. What a bargain, you know? $42 for a pair of floating rotors. Okay. So... All right, let's go ahead and install it. So I'm gonna go uninstall the uh, the stock rotor and then we'll compare it to the, the new one and then I'll install the new one. Uh, so one thing one thing to note, okay, so one thing to note is uh, these uh, bolts don't have any kind of uh, any kind of locking compound on it, okay? So you're gonna wanna put a locking compound on this when you put it on, okay? And I think the, the spec is nine foot pounds for the rear rotor. I've never changed the rear rotor before, so it should be interesting. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, let's hop to it. Okay, so it requires the use of a T30 Torx bit, okay? There it is. It's shaped kind of like a star. Okay. I'm wondering if we need to heat this up with a torch or something when we take it off. Um, this is this rotor is still good, so I can use it as a spare. Actually, I kind of messed this rotor up, I think. I think this, mo this rotor is a little bit bent, so that's another reason I want to change it. I, what I, what Vega did, he did a... A bonehead maneuver. I locked this with the disc lock, and then I took off with that without uh, putting the disc lock on, and it it dunk, it hit the it it hit the the wheel, and then and then it got bent a little bit, and I kind of bent it back. So um, so that's another reason I want to change this one. <laughs> it's still okay, I guess. Oh boy. I think I don't want to use this. Hold on. Okay. Uh, instead of using the driver, I'm going to use a one of these guys. Okay, breaker bar. It took a lot of force to get that out. They do. They should have a locking compound on this, so it may strip when you take it out. <laughs> so you want to make sure you get a good grab on it. Okay. Okay, now I wanna now I can use the driver. And you can definitely feel that locking compound in there. So this will be just the rear. The front is pretty much the same thing, okay guys? It's just even smaller bolts, they'll probably even strip even even more. <laughs> but I, like I said, I did a video on the front, so if you guys want to see me change the front rotor, um, you can watch that video, okay? I will be keeping that one on there. It looks kind of it kind of trick, <laughs> but the benefits of the new rotor, the new one, the Lunacycle one, over this is that it's a floating rotor design. Okay, it helps dissipate heat better. It won't heat the hubs up. It, they, uh, the one thing about floating rotors is they're kind of noisy. Okay, I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, they kind of. You know, they float around a little bit, so if, unless you break, it, it won't realign itself, you know? Okay, I'll just speed this video up. Okay, so there's the old hardware. As you can see, it's got blue Loctite on it, alright? So, we're going to want to put some kind of Loctite. Let me put the new one on. Alright, let's take this out. I've got an arrow here marking the direction it's going to spin. Okay, but the other one, I don't think it matters. As long as the Lunacycle logo is facing out, I think that's the way they designed it. <laughs> okay, all right, there it is. Okay, 
here we are. So there you've got the uh, the stock Sauron rotor right here on the right, and then we've got the Lunas the Lunacycle floating rotor on the left. Okay, I I didn't I don't they don't have any data on this on the website. There's no instruction manual that comes with it. I believe this is made out of stainless steel. It looks like it. Um, I think this is stainless steel also. Um, the the biggest like I said the biggest difference between this one and that one is that this one has a floating rotor design. Okay, it look it's thicker too. They said that I I believe that's one of the one of the um, uh, the pros to this guy is it's thicker. So that would mean it would be heavier too. Um, if it's thicker and it's a floating rotor design, it dissipates heat better. Okay, so you're so you'll have more consistent uh, braking performance. Okay, during you know high speed riding and stuff. All right, so there it is. Pretty nice. It's kind of it's an interesting design. It's got like a spring sort of. There's a part here that connects to the rotor, and then and then there's a floating part here. I'm. I hope this doesn't break, man. I've never seen a rotor design like this, so I don't know where they're getting it from. So you trust me? Hey, he's gonna try this out, you know, and I'll he'll let you guys know how it is. Okay, um, I will probably do a little review on it after I take it to the racetrack, okay? I'll probably drive it, ride it for a DoorDash a couple days, but but we won't really be able to push it until we take it to the racetrack, okay? So here's the difference between the two bolts, okay? The bolts, this one is like a kind of like a stainless bolt. I think it looks like it's stronger than the than the Lunacycle one, okay? One is black and one is like a stainless color. I think it's the same, uh, it uses the same torque bit, okay? Except the uh, uh, the new one has the new one has no locking compound on it. The Suron one has a blue locking compound on it. So we're gonna want to put some uh, Loctite on this on the new one, or we can reuse this one one or the other. Um, I'd say hey, let's just go with the Lunacycle stuff. Okay, so I will just goop it up with some Loctite when we install it. Okay, um, so for I'm not I don't know. There's really not much else to talk about, man. Uh, so this part here is circular while this one is kind of like cut out here so it looks a little different okay the the spoke patterns are different this one kind of has like a star pattern this one has like a kind of like a saw pattern sort of okay and then these are the floating bits right here okay and then while this one has is slotted okay it has like kind of slots this one has uh, just drilled holes okay Swiss cheese rotor is what I call it. <laughs> okay. All right, and I I believe this is the the way you would install it. Okay, with the Luna cycle up there. It I can tell you now when I pick this one up and I pick this one up, this one's a lot. This one's a little lighter. Okay, so so let's get Mr. Scaly out and let's go weigh it. Let's go weigh him. Okay, so we're gonna go weigh the two rotors. All right, with the Mr. Handy Mr. Scale here. So here we got the Luna cycle stainless steel floating rotor put it down there and we got 11 ounces on the dot okay put a subtitle below if you guys can't read it 11 ounces all right let's set that aside okay this is the stock sore on one it should be lighter because it's probably got less metal on it because it's used okay this one weighs 7.2 ounces 7.2 so 7.2 versus 11 so you're you know this is almost twice the weight of that, almost. Okay. Oh yeah, almost, almost twice. So it definitely feels much more meatier than this. So hopefully that extra weight will help with heat dissipation. Is what I'm okay, saying. Okay. So let's go install this. So here's the rotor. I got a torque wrench right here. I've got some Loctite right here. Let's do this. All right. So just fits on there just like so. A little more graceful than that. 80s Mega. Okay, all the holes line up nicely. Very good precision work, Lunacycle. Okay, and then we're gonna go put some Loctite on it. Okay, make sure there's ample part, ample Loctite on it. Because you definitely would not want these to come out.
keeps its alignment pretty well. You, I can definitely tell there's still some Loctite in the threads. Okay. Okay. And we're going to tighten it in a star pattern. Hmm, for whatever reason, this one is kind of hard to get in. Some of them are easier to get in than others, okay? So let's hope that Loctite I put in helps. Okay, we're gonna go break out the, uh, the uh, torque wrench, all right? I already have it set to 12 Newton meters or nine foot pounds, okay? I just have it set to 12 Newton meters. Here we go. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Okay, and then now we're going to go one more time. Just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so you can bet Hades Omega is going to be watching that those bolts like a hawk for the first couple, like a hundred miles or something. <laughs> okay, all right, but there it is. It looks nice. I like it. It's trick. <laughs> it says Luda Cycle on it. He's making us pretty happy with the, with the way it looks. Okay, we'll see how it performs. That's how you install the Luna floating uh, rear brake rotor. Okay, the front one is pretty much sim similar. Um, if you guys want to see a video on the front, my front rotor that I installed on my Supermoto wheel, I'll put a link to the end of that video in this description if you guys want to check that out. It's a pretty inexpensive and nice looking rotor too. Okay. Uh, but Hades Omega is going to test this out on the racetrack this weekend, so uh, look forward to the review of how it did. Um, I will I will purposely use the brakes on the racetrack, okay, instead of using the regen, okay, for for a couple laps, okay. All right, thanks for watching. Hades Omega out. I will uh, I'll get you I'll get a picture of it how it looks like when I get it back on the bike. All right, Hades Omega out. Forty two dollars from Luna Cycle. Uh, I don't think they sell them anymore. All right, yeah, so another thing I want to point out about this, uh, the, the rear rotor in spe specific, like I said, the, uh, the Suron uses a specific rotor for the, uh, the Suron. You cannot buy this. It's not easy to find, okay? You have to buy it directly from Suron. So um, you're going to have to... Uh... So LunaCycle does make this for the Suron, so good job, LunaCycle, okay? So you have an, another alternative to the stock rotor okay if you break it or whatever you know you need to replace it you can get a lunacycle one okay i don't know if you can get these ones anymore but um, they do sell another set all right so that's why that's why you see on their website they sell the magura front but they don't sell a magura rear because there's no rear nobody makes an aftermarket rotor for the suron okay for the rear um, you can find ones for the front, but you can't find one for the rear, okay? And, and the good thing about the aftermarket is, hey, you know, if Soron doesn't have parts, then you can you can get parts from somewhere else. But this is actually, this is an upgrade over the stock, uh, the stock rotor, okay? Because it has this floating design and it's thicker, okay? So how that's going to play with my pads, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, all right? Okay, here's me go. All right, it's all back together again, Supermoto. So uh, there it is installed, and uh, so I have to say, uh, when when I installed it, I had to pry the pads open. Okay, <laughs> I had to push the pistons back so it would fit. So this this rotor is definitely thicker than the stock rotor. Okay, so um, much thicker. <laughs> so so yeah, I, it, I probably have to wait to bed it in. But it's also the um, it's floating also, so it's gonna move. Is what I want to say. So. Okay, and then I have to realign the the caliper again. So you got to loosen these, and then what I do is I hold the brake down, and then I and then I tighten these. Okay, um, 
But uh, it looks good, man. So we'll, I'll try it out tomorrow when I go door dashing. <laughs> All right, let's make out.